watching right now with Jimmy Fallon for 88.7 FM WRHU. Jimmy, great to have you here at Hofstra performing tonight. Oh, this is very exciting. This is big time, man. We got a bunch of kids outside getting ready to do it up. It's going to be good. It's going to be fun. And you know what? You're coming off a big performance at the Emmys. That big Born to Run Spectacular. What's it like dancing with Kate Gosselin? Because I feel like that's the greatest fear anyone can have. <laughs> Tony Dovolani is still not recovered. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, he's in a mental institution right now. Yeah. He's uh, what we're writing him, sending him food and stuff like that. Oh, so that's good. I'll good. give you, I'll give you an address you can put on the stage if you don't mind. That'd be great. Uh, but yeah, dancing with Kate Gosselin is. Uh, we, you know what? She's a good sport. I asked her like it was one of our first ideas. Like, gotta get Kate Gosselin out there because she was just on dancing with stars. But she knows that and she was a good sport. She's like, I'm not a dancer, and she was like, uh, totally game. And like we ended up having a good time. But I, at one point, I remember I was just standing there and I was doing the Bruce thing and I was looking and I saw Tina. Faye just dancing with John Hamm, like they were full on into it, and eyes closed, and I was like, that's the greatest. I'm like, this, I can't believe this is happening. It's so ridiculous, <laughs> so stupid, but it was like, that's the whole idea of it. It's like, when you're the host of that big show, you know, you gotta set the tone. And you know, it's like, everyone just be silly and just enjoy that we're all in the room together. All right. So I know you're doing a beer pong with celebrities. Mm. How do you think you'll stand out against the students here at Hofstra? I'm a little worried about that, to be honest, because <laughs> I've heard uh, there's, some, there's some skilled players out there. Talented. I know, and I. I was walking by uh, Shauna and uh, Fountains of Wayne and Trey Songs, and I was just scoping out my competition. I'm just hoping that uh, they, they get a head start. And what happens is I, I just let them drink and play, and then I come in full on sober and uh, just destroy everybody. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah, thanks. Hi, I'm Lisa from the Hofstra Chronicles and campus hey. newspaper. Cool. Um, since you're here at a college, we're all interested. What was your favorite part about being a college student? Uh, I like my little fridge. That was just great. You got your tiny little fridge, it's like you're not quite ready for a big fridge. You got this tiny little thing, it barely holds anything. You have a little freezer compartment, which is awful. It just grows frost, it doesn't do anything else. It barely fits anything, it has that little, comes with, except for the little ice cube tray that comes with it, which is just fantastic, like chiclet ice cubes. And yeah, you can't even fit a Ben and Jerry's in there. It's pretty. We cool. actually have microwaves too at Hofstra. It's a fridge microwave combo. So times they are changing. <laughs> Bob Dylan was writing songs about college. He was right about that. Uh, yeah, we had. I remember smuggling in hot plates. We would have people making grilled cheeses on irons. Oh yeah. And we were trying to do whatever we can do. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, do you still stack your uh, your beds on top of bricks and stuff? No, we actually got all new beds at Hofstra this year that stack themselves. See, smart guy. So, <laughs> someone invented it. Yeah. What the time? I, went, I, was, I went to a college where I was just, I, was, I had wolves as professors. And uh, we just would go to a cave and just, uh, just you know, with candles and lanterns and stuff like that. And just, you know, drink, you know, like a, a blood from a, uh, from a chalice. And just, uh, that, was, that was college back when I was a kid. Now I gotta ask you, what's the, what's the easier, stand up or sketch comedy? Hmm. I guess uh, it depends. They can both be awful. They can both be really good. <laughs> they both have good, you know, good and bad points. It's just, I think tonight would be super fun because it's just got young energy and you just got that. It's just co nothing like a college crowd. It's just the greatest because you got nothing to lose. It's, still, it's the end of the night, right? Mm -hmm. and then you go out to parties after this. Night, yeah. Oh my gosh! So there's gonna be just a bunch of drunk fools out there. And it's gonna be fantastic. And uh, I'm just, I'm just psyched to put on the best show I can put on. Hopefully, everyone has a great time. Now, I know you're married. Would your wife say that you were an idiot boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. That was pretty, that was pretty, pretty stupid, pretty silly. But uh, yeah, I met my wife doing the movie Fever Pitch. And uh, but she knows I'm, I'm an idiot. I don't know if you can tell now, but I kind of have like a little rash around my uh, mustache because I had to shave really extra close because I was Justin Bieber uh, yesterday. <laughs> and uh, so I, want, I can't do Justin Bieber with the five o'clock shadow. So I shaved upside down, you know, backwards with the razor to get really close. And, I have razor burn, so I have a permanent red zit beard. It's just kind of embarrassing, but it's like nothing I do about it. All for the sake of comedy. I, I hope it was funny. I think it was funny. I think it was alright. It's like now I have a rash all over my face. <laughs> so, but what are you gonna do? Um, so I know you're big into Twitter. Do you find that it's helped you connect with your fans better? Yeah, completely. Yeah, Twitter is. Uh, uh, Twitter is like the new thing. It's just amazing. I think it's a. Uh, I don't know. It just gives you more of a uh, more of a window into what whatever what's going on with the world, and what's going on out there. When you can connect there, when you say, "Hey, how are you?" or you say, "Hey, I'm going to Hofstra," and you know, you're going to be around, stuff like that. Like, 
I'll, I'll tweet out tonight after the show. I'll say it. I'll say whatever. What do you want me to say? Jimmy, one final Jimmy question. Uh, my name is Andrea, and yeah. I just wanted to know, you know, Hofstra's done so much to celebrate their 75th anniversary. They could have easily just had, you know, a 45-minute lecture on anything, but they've chosen to add you to the celebration. How do you feel tonight? Psyched. I'm honored. This is so cool. 75 years is a big uh, milestone. Uh, and I just was walking in through the fireworks and going, this is insane. There's carnival rides. It's like I had none of this when I went to school. So it's kind of cool that your school is that, uh, that awesome and that giving. Uh, and hopefully it's going to be a great show. I'm excited. Thank you. Thanks.